Use this free play money scheme to convert more touchdowns and two point conversions. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so I uh, just want to go ahead and talk about um, a formation that I, I didn't initially think of this as going to be my red zone formation out of the, um, the Carolina Panthers playbook, but it turned into it. Uh, just because of the play comp uh, complements are very, very uh, efficient when you get down in the red zone. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to post where you can find these plays, other playbooks you can find this in, but I definitely recommend taking a look uh, at the Carolina Panthers, and if you weren't using um, you know, custom playbooks, you need to throw this into your scheme. It's a very effective way to do this. So uh, with the audibles of this, uh, the Carolina Panthers playbook, um, what's cool about the particular audibles is that it, com it basically it, it comes with what you need. All right, so uh, some of the audibles we got here, we've got halfback, ace power, and then play action waggle. So it's basically taking an inside tight end and he's motioning off the left. You got a run play and you got a pass play. So uh, the pass play is what, what I really is my money play, uh, but I want to establish the run against my opponent to go ahead and keep them thinking about uh, having to defend the run and then opening up the pass. So one of the one of the the best runs that you can use in this scheme is going to be the toss crack. Obviously, you've ran into the people that ran run run single um, uh, single back basic or a bunch against you, and it's a very effective run, especially if you've got an opponent that knows how to use it effectively. So let's go ahead and use it as our base run, uh, our base play, and then go into the other audibles uh, with this game. All right, so one of the keys too to be successful with this is you want to try to put your fastest running back uh, out there. Uh, so uh, in particular, I'm going to put Kirsten McCaffrey out there because he's a very fast running back. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and pick uh, the pitch play, the toss crack. And really what you're going to do is you're just going to run to the outside. Uh, and just try to hope your, your blocker picks up and you'll be able to go pick up a play. Now, I'm gonna, not going to show you how to run a, a, a toss play. Uh, is just really getting wide more than anything else and just hoping your blockers actually set a seal for you. If they do, you're going to be able to pick that up. So once you hit your opponent with this particular play a couple times, they're going to be very conscious of it. They're going to start really stacking the outside. They might put another defender over there but to take away the toss. So that's when you jump into the next audible, which is going to be the halfback ace power. And this is going to open up the play action waggle for for you a little bit later on. So uh, it is a it's a it's a quick audible. If you're chewing clock, you can definitely audible into this, and then you just snap the ball right away. You'll be able to get this off. Uh, I have I've been able to use it effectively, and it's just another play that you can go ahead and attack to get in the end zone. So the Caffrey just bounces off like a bowling alley or a bowling ball right there. Uh, but the blocking is very good. You just watch the tackle. The tackle is going to either tell you to go to the inside or it's going to tell you to go to the outside. So right there, the defender actually seals it up. Uh, but let's just go here. You're going to see you get a stack defense right here. This is a, a run heavy defense, which you're going to be using against your opponent. <laughs> so just going to watch the tackle. The tackle is going to show us uh, where we're going to go. Uh, and you can see right there, I'm just running off the left. So now your opponent's got to go ahead and block. The he's got to take care of the toss. He's got to go ahead and take care of the, uh, the halfback um, uh, ace power. Uh, where you got that pulling guard, uh, and it's really going to be a very effective way to go ahead and attack your opponent with it. So now, if he's got to stop the run, what's going to happen is that you're going to go ahead and hit him with the play, which is going to be the money play out of this entire scheme, uh, which is going to be this pass play, which is the play action waggle. Now, with the play action waggle, this is basically what the play art looks like. This you got a whip route by by your outside wide receiver, which is Olsen. I got a corner route and I've got a deep in route. The deep in route is going to be where the money's at. And then we got an auto motion flat. Now, before when I was running this play, I'd actually take Dixon and put him on um, on a drag route just to go ahead and, and take a, a defender in the area. But um, I really like to go ahead and keep the auto motion so I can go ahead and keep that uh, the look of the halfback run, force him to go come down and try to attack the run. So I'm going to leave the play action set and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Olsen and I'm going to put him on a drag route because that's going to basically clear out the zones. Now against man, basically Olsen, uh, Olsen should be wide open but the key to this particular run is this back route over here by Funches. So play action is going to pull defenders down if your opponent is actually trying to stop the run 
uh, he's going to be very concerned about that and basically Funch is going to be wide open. Now one of the things I do too is I pass lead. I don't do any additional pass leads with the, with the controller. I just hold the left button to get the high uh, animation. But you can see right here what's going to happen is the defenders are going to be uh, basically preoccupied uh, with some of the other routes. So this defender actually falls down. He's got to take. He's got to man that drag. And this guy's going to basically this this corner route is going to basically preoccupy a lot of defenders. Now this defender really has to. He's got to defend this guy, and he's trying to trade off. But by that time, there is nobody in the area because I've got I've got a flat. I've got a drag, uh, and then this the back of the field, the back of the end zone is going to be wide open for a touchdown. So you guys could take a look uh, basically at my my gameplay. I was I used this play pretty effectively. The only time I didn't convert touchdowns is because I had drop passes for the most part. So um, once again, I want to thank all my subscribers. If you do like this, please hit the like button. I really would appreciate that. Uh, and go, go ahead and take a look. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a card with all the gameplay so you can see me using this live um, in action. So once again, thank you for your support. And until next time.